everybody. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. So, I can't believe it's already Tuesday. It yeah. Like we just had the weekend. We did. And we had a great weekend. We did. It was an awesome weekend with friends. We had friends <laughs> that flew into town Thursday morning. And they own a classic car dealership up in um, Indiana. So, if any of you are looking for a classic car, let us know. We will hook you up. So, we went to the Greensboro Auto Auction. <laughs> I got a new shirt. So, at the Palace. And we had a great time. I think they sold 650 cars in three days. Mm -hmm. And there was some beauties. There were. Yeah. I think the cheapest days. one was 4000 And we watched a car sell for $975,000. Before buyer's premium and tax and freight and all that. So, it was a pretty exciting show. It was. Yeah. And then we went antiquing on... Sunday. Sunday, yes, we bought found some, some airplane treasures. nose cones. Well, our friends bought some airplane nose cones, mm -hmm. which are going to be light fixtures. Yeah, <laughs> you never would have. No, you never know what's going to be next when you're hanging out with us. So, it was a good weekend. Someone, not us, also purchased a stuffed squirrel. Yeah, so, <laughs> you know, you know, fun stuff. Fun stuff. Like that. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think we. <laughs> purchase anything too off the wall too off the no wall. we Most purchased something for the building oh we did we got a new light fixture mm -hmm. ah. yeah so. okay and we got a new light outside today the power company came and put a light on a pole for us so we brightened it up out here for you guys because uh, you know it starts getting darker earlier so ah. yeah well it, we've We're gone through, through that it. now it's starting to get lighter earlier thank right? goodness yeah. yes so don't forget to follow us on our website yes please join us on our newsletter and you will be one of the first to find out about different events mm -hmm. different product that comes in um different activities that are happening here um between the newsletter and yep. you who watch live you are the first our special That's our right. special people our special friends who learn about things um, first exclusively yes so um, there's a few things that we want to share with you coming exclusively uh, one we got a whole scat of new product in wow. yeah. yesterday and poor Linda has been working so hard yeah. to make sure that it's all cataloged it's all in um, she had about a thousand price. price tags she had to write out and then put She's them on a little string and take them on the product and yes. and that I mean just, first of all you gotta get it out of the box yeah and then you gotta put the packaging away and then you've got to price it and then you have to put it in the computer system and then so. you have to make it available for purchase online there's so much to do every time a product comes in there's a lot yep. that Linda does yep. um, not we appreciate just showing you, her beautiful face but yep. yeah we appreciate everything you do we do um, follow us on our Instagram as well to mm -hmm. uh, Find out what we're up to, see the new product, see uh, some of the pictures from our events and those things. So, um, and those of you who are watching already follow us on Facebook. So we thank you for that. We do. Thank you. Don't forget to share tonight's show. Tell me you did. If you're watching, click, sh click to um, chat with James. Share the show and let James know I shared, and your name will get entered into a bowl for the drawing yep. at the end of the evening for a special gift from us to you to say thank you for helping us get the word out. Yeah, we've had a few people in here lately using up their, their uh, gift certificates that they want, and it's been I fun love to it. have them come on in and, and look through everything and pick some things out. So yes. that's awesome. So I love it. Yeah. So something else to bring up. Mm -hmm. We have... A new product that's going to be coming really, really soon. We are going to have our own Baron's Brew. Hmm. Coffee, that is. Yeah. Yeah, coffee. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're working on the other one, too. But right now, we're going to have a coffee. So, so yeah. that's coming soon. Um, actually, we're really hoping that we're going to have that up and running near the end of next week. So A lot of you, um, those of you that have been watching and following us on our uh, on our Tuesday nights, have seen the progress of the kitchen area. Yep. And... This weekend, right? This yep. weekend, the flooring will go in and the backsplash will be going in. So, 85 square feet of backsplash. Yeah. Your average house is about 35 to 40 square feet. So we're putting in a bunch of backsplash. backsplash. So it's going to look pretty. It will. And that means the kitchen will be ready. 
Yeah. So once we have thank you, Blarney slides. Stone. Thank you very much. They helped us out huge last week. They came over and picked up the granite that we had mm -hmm. and cut the new sink in right where we wanted it to turn the thing around in record time. They were awesome. So were. thank you to thank our friends you very, at Blarney very, Stone. Very much. Yes. And um and thank you, Jeremy over at Ferguson. Help yeah. hook me up with a great faucet for the kitchen. Yeah, so, we appreciate yeah. that. I tell you what, so we got much. friends all over the place, and we, we appreciate you guys and everything well, you do to help us out. Because this isn't just a, a two person show over here. We have a lot of people that help us do what we do, and we do appreciate it. Every single one of you. So. Every single day. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Whether we say it or not, yeah. we're appreciating <laughs> you in our really heads are. all the time. So I think we're ready to get started. Tell me what the show's about tonight. Tonight, we are sharing the, oh, that's about following us. Sorry, I'm a little ahead of myself. Tonight, we're talking about sharing the local love. Yes. We have quite a few, we've accumulated quite a few local makers mm -hmm. um, who work really hard at doing what they love. That's something I just. And it's funny how we didn't know about a lot of them until we started doing what we're doing now. And then we're finding out about all these great people. And we're like, oh, okay. There is a lot of talent. Right in Seven Lakes. In Seven Lakes, yep. in Moore County, lots yep. of talent. And um, I'm excited that we're sharing more and more of the, the local makers yeah. uh, and here so that you're able to purchase from a local store. So tonight's so, show is all, all about, about local. Local. Mm -hmm. Just the local makers that we've run into so far doing this as short a time as we've been doing this and just remember we love local we yeah. thank you guys for supporting us locally but we also love to support local ourselves so if you after watching the show think hey hang on i know a guy that's local that does some things and they might be interested in that we are always on the hunt for new and unique products quality items that we can put in the boutique that, that's a good fit for them yeah. and for us we don't want to bring in somebody that, um, yeah, I've talked to many more than what we carry. And after a conversation, kind of finding that maybe I'm not the best fit for them, yeah. but making suggestions of where they might be a good fit. Yeah. So, if you mill your own lumber, that's awesome. And we'd like to support you, but we'd like to have you sell through one of our two hardware stores. Yeah. So it, and not everything's a fit. And right. we've had some people come in with things that are not fits. And that's okay. But um, it's it's great to find out about all the people that are out there and the different things they're doing. Yes. So, yeah. And we'd love to bring in some more of you. So yeah. let us know. So I'm going to let James get back to work so he can see your comments. Chit chat with each other. Yes, please. Um, something I love. A lot of you were chit chat being back and forth last week, and I loved that. That was great. So keep yeah. it up. Um, if you're not watching the comments, there's a button up in the corner. you got to click it to turn comments on, depending on which device you're watching and on and how you have it set up. But the comments do come up. It is fun. That's where you're going to tell me that you shared it, and that so I know to put your name in the, in the drawing for tonight. But, uh, yeah, it, there can be a lot of – we watch a show on Monday night that's very similar to our show with jewelry, and we've talked about it quite a few times before, and, and there's a lot of uh, banter on their on their show and uh we're usually in the middle of making and eating dinner while we watch so we don't get to banter back and forth a lot but it is fun to have it up there and see the little comments come across yeah. the screen so yeah. we we encourage chit chat with us yes. chit chat with james yep. i told you before he gets bored i do it's an hour chat with him of sitting keep him back occupied. there yeah yes. so so keep james entertained all right talk to each other let's get going so the first maker that I would like to share with you is one that we actually brought in last week. Um, we brought in Mike. Mike is known as the boss. So Mike the boss is a Seven Lakes resident and uh, Mike served in our U.S. Army as a paratrooper in the Vietnam War. So Mike, thank you very much for your service. Mike also worked um, in the prison system for 38 years. That could not have been a very easy job for sure. Um, 21 of those years he um, served as the prison warden. So um, Mike, my hat's off to you. That could not have been uh, an easy job for sure, and we're very thankful for all that you did 
with our country and um, for those who found themselves in, in some trouble. So we thank you for, for all that you do and all that you did. Um, Mike lived and lived in and raised his family in the eastern part of Carolina. Arg, go Pirates. Uh, my picture of Mike here has uh, an ECU sweatshirt on and our son graduated from ECU as well as our daughter-in-law. So uh, we are fans of ECU for sure. But um, that is where Mike became fond of the, the Eastern Carolina vinegar-based uh, barbecue sauce. And um, he also likes the sweeter side of um, the tomato base, the ketchup base. So he decided to kind of gel the two together. And after a few years of tweaking, um, after several years of tweaking, came up with a balanced blend that we all think you're gonna love. And that's how Boss Bell's Barbecue Brew came about. But last week on our show, we um, had mentioned to a friend of ours, we gave him a challenge to uh, share with us his thoughts on Boss Bell's Barbecue Brew. And so our great friend bill foot grabbed a bottle cooked up some ribs and i can smell them from here and i haven't eaten dinner yet so they smell great <laughs> <laughs> he's here to give us a little review on what he did and i've already got two people logging in here i've got yeah. alicia Hi, and alicia. i've got heather that have both said Hi. that they purchased the barbecue sauce already and love it yes so Isn't it i'm amazing? getting a lot of positive comments here good see two people already making great comments and it is tasty we got to taste it for the first time last week and we've never had this many shares since early in the show oh, thank great. you so much great keep sharing so we are going to introduce to you our friend bill foot i'm going to bring james and bill into the scene i'm going to step out and let the boys take control Woohoo! it's a little scary all right <laughs> All right, come on in here, Bill. For you, those of you that don't know, it's my good friend, Bill. Good Bill, evening. take it away. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Bill. However, when I'm behind the barbecue grill, they call me Barbecue Bill. <laughs> That's right. So tonight, I'm here to tell you what I think of Boss Bell's Barbecue Brew. I uh, cooked three slabs of ribs this past weekend, two on Sunday. And I did one last night to uh, bring here tonight for us all to share. Did I say he's a good <laughs> friend or what? <laughs> I will start by saying that Eastern Carolina is also known for its uh, simple method. Well, I'm sorry, um, known for its sweet and tangy barbecue sauce. Yep, I agree. Yeah. So the way I cook my ribs is I use a three, two, one method. Which you can find that information out on the internet. What's the three, two, one method? You smoke them for three hours. Yep. You wrap them in aluminum, pour in a half cup of apple juice, and you steam them for two hours. And then for the last hour, you bring them out and you put them on your grill with indirect heat. And you cook them for another hour, but on the last 20 minutes is when you want to apply your sauces. Gotcha. To both sides. That's usually about the time we show up at Bill's house. <laughs> when he's applying the sauce, all the hard work's already been done, and we show up, and they smell delicious, yeah. and it is a painful to stand there and wait, because yeah. you know the food's going to be great. And I also uh, did some uh, chicken tenders on right. uh, Saturday afternoon, and I used this as, I put uh, some of this in a cup, and I used it as a, put it in the microwave, and used it as a dipping sauce. Ooh, nice. So it was really good. Yeah. I mean... So there's a lot of things you can do with this. So, all right. So evidently I'm reading my notes. You know, I got CRS and you can tell by my hair. <laughs> so, but um, let's get back to the reason I'm here. This is a sweet and tangy barbecue sauce. And the flavor has had that perfect amount of zest and a little bit of a kick. So 
I think you'll really enjoy this. Um, it is a sweet and spicy uh, with a slight tomato tomato taste and not an overpowering taste of vinegar. So and some barbecue sauces, you can tell they're a very strong vinegar based. And then some, basically you have the vinegar base and the tomato base sauces. And sometimes you pick one or the other up and it's really strong one more or the other. Yeah. And we found when we were trying this sauce here, because we just tried it the first time just recently, last week, and before we brought it in, and and we found that it wasn't overpowering one way or the other. It really is almost like a hybrid of the two together. A perfect combination. It really is, yes. Yeah. It is. So um, I think you all find something unexpected. I can't quite put my finger on, but it's delicious. Let me tell you that. So... Um, and it's it's not your standard grocery store barbecue sauce. All right. And you can definitely find this here at Baron's Boutique. That's right. <laughs> so, so this is um so the way I like to rate barbecue sauces, I like to give them six buds because when you're barbecuing, you're out in nature and buds are part of nature. You know, when springtime comes, all these buds come out. So I, I like could it, to. Could it also be the a, a six pack of Budweiser? It, as, a, as a full load? It could be a six pack of Budweiser. So, but I, I rate things on six buds instead of a scale of one to ten. Um, Did we get a full six buds on this one? Well, to tell you the truth, um, this is something special, and my mouth waters as I talk about it. Nice. So um, I give Boss Boss Bell's barbecue sauce. Six buds. Awesome. awesome. So come on down to Baron's Boutique and get yourself a bottle today. Awesome. All right. Shall we try the ribs? We should try Absolutely. the ribs. Absolutely. Yeah. Right. Shall, Shall we try the ribs? Shall we try the ribs? Shall we try the ribs? <laughs> yes, please. All right. Yeah, I got to. Oh, right. we all disappeared. <laughs> we want to just... So we're going to just be, uh, well, Bill and I will be off air for just a quick moment here. Uh, are you going to eat, honey? Uh, I, I am, yeah. Slabs of ribs here. I can't get the little tongues of it. Here we go. It's got the sauce on there. These have been smoked three hours. Smoked three steamed hours. two hours. Steamed two hours. One hour of indirect heat. You want this little one here while you're on the air? Do I want the little one? Yeah. I guess on air. I'm gonna keep and I apologize now for all of you that have to watch me if I have food in my teeth. <laughs> yeah. Tell James. Let yeah, me let me know in the comments. Don't let <laughs> me go the whole hour with food in my mouth or in my teeth. At least we're not eating kale. So, all right, here we go. Okay, so everybody in? Boss Bells. And... Boss Bells barbecue sauce. Oh, I believe the terminology is <laughs> mouth slapping. Mouth slapping. That's excellent. Mm -hmm. All right. So come on down and get a bottle. You won't regret it. Oh, yeah. uh, no. The ribs won't be here tomorrow. <laughs> they won't be here in five minutes. But so for the next ten minutes, you're going to watch me eat. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> They're delicious. Thank you, Bill. We appreciate it. You're welcome. All right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you for turning me on to this great barbecue sauce. <laughs> Absolutely. You know where to find it. <laughs> I do. So, okay, a lot of love went into these. He spent a lot of time making these. Mm hmm. These are so, good. Yeah, Bill, thank you very much. They're not just the barbecue sauce, but perfectly mm. cooked. The too. meat's perfect, too. Super tender. Yes, it's really, really good. And well, thank you. I have something mm. in my teeth. Sorry. The, um, <laughs> the creator of the barbecue sauce has joined us. Oh! Michael Bell is on. And he oh, says, Barron's is the only place in Seven Lakes to find. Boss Bell's Barbecue Brew. Oh, Awesome. Welcome. And we appreciate being that place. We do appreciate being that place very much. So hey, thank you. Can you bring us over another case there, Michael, if you're <laughs> listening? Because uh, the first case is about gone. Yeah, it is indeed. So we are in need for a refill for sure. So you can pick up a bottle of Boss Bell's Barbecue Brew for $5.49 here at the boutique. So, so excited to have that here. Thank you, Bill, again for cooking for us. <laughs> and yes, when we rate Bill's cooking by if it's mouth slapping. So That's right. It's mouth slapping for sure. All right. So and this is not a local item, but I thought, how cute is this? If you've got a bottle of the barbecue brew, 
and had that served in the sauce boss um the sauce boss spout and wouldn't that be nice you can just pour your sauce onto <laughs> you can pour your sauce on or brush it on as well with the thrill of the grill brush so that's also available for $22.99. Not locally made. It's the only item in this show tonight that's not locally made. But I thought they paired well. We have one of our viewers. Rob says, Boss Bell barbecue sauce will make your tongue slap your brains out. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, Rob. That's awesome. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that. All right. Well, we're going to go from meals to sweets. This is Carol. Carol Soxman is also a Seven Lakes resident. She's over on the west side. And um, Carol, I just she's so, so sweet. Um, I love chatting with her when I get the chance. Usually our schedules don't meet up. And uh, when she makes a drop off of our chocolates, I, I don't tend to be here, but I really enjoy my time with Carol. And she's she's so, so sweet. And um, some things to know about her. Her grand, great grandfather was a chocolatier. He owned and operated his own candy store. And um, so it, it, chocolate runs in the family, apparently. So Carol decided to pair her flair for cooking. Carol loves to cook and she loves chocolate. Carol and I have a lot in common. I love to cook and I love chocolate and cheese and cake and lots of things like that. But Carol paired those together and decided she was going to take some chocolatier classes. And she was doing that as a hobby. And today, after 30 years of from her first class, she's changed her hobby into a thriving business. If you have not had her chocolate, you're missing out. We shared, uh, over the weekend, we shared some of her chocolates with our friends that were um, in town, and they agree that the chocolate is also creamy and delicious. So, currently I am sold out of Carol's 7 count and 12 count chocolates. The 7 count is $10, and the 12 count is $15. And they go quick. They do go quick. Mm, um, wait, I gotta say one thing. Do you know what the funniest thing is about the chocolate? What? Almost 100% of the sales we do here are on credit cards. Yeah. Very rarely do people pay cash. True. Almost everybody pays cash for the chocolates. So <laughs> I know a lot of you secret. are having some guilty Shh. pleasures out there and you're like, I gotta get the 10 pad, the $10 one or the 15, and you're getting a little box of the chocolates and you're whipping out the bill. Well, that's like the only thing people ever pay cash for in here. It's, it's hilarious. So, Your secret is safe with it's us. It's safe with us. We promise we won't tell us about it. <laughs> won't tell a thing. So you just keep purchasing that with your cash up. That is fine. So I'm um, currently sold out. Carol's out of town, but when she comes back into town, um, she will refill our supply of the seven count and um, the 12 count of chocolate boxes. So we do still have her um, chocolate, her barks. We have the, um, this one is my favorite, the dark chocolate blood orange olive oil with cran dried cranberries, pumpkin seeds, and sea salt. And you take a bite and you taste all these wonderful flavors. It's so, so creamy. I'm usually not a dark chocolate fan, but um, Carol has taught me that the olive oil in the chocolate um, adds a creaminess to it and it takes away some of that bitter flavor that sometimes dark chocolate can have. Carol is also, um, the way she packages it, you probably wonder what's that extra loop doing on my, on the bow? Um, she makes that loop so that if you want to pair the chocolate as a gift on the top of a bottle of wine, I don't think I have a wine bottle near me. We um, have a bottle of... I have a bottle of olive oil. Olive oil. So I'll show you that. You can slip that... More product testing is going on behind the scenes. You can slip that loop and pair her chocolate with a bottle of wine as a gift. I never even knew that. Yes. So a uh, clever little packaging thing. That's it awesome. takes her a long time to do that. 
Um, so I wanted to share that, that she makes that loop extra special in case you want to pair it with a wine for as a gift. And run up the street and see her friends at the wine shop. Yes, see Trish at the wine shop. Yep. She'll help you purchase some chocolate. She'll help you pair what wine will go good with the she chocolate. Will. And it'll be amazing. Or it will be. Um, we still have some of the peppermint bark left. This is going to be leaving soon. I'm going to bring in a different flavor of bark soon. And we also have, um, let's see, we, oh, and the espresso bean, espresso bean as well. So those bark bags are $6, super creamy, super delicious, yummity, yum, yum, yum. The next guest that I'd like to share with you is Heather. Many of you know Heather. Um, she has her company. Uh, she is also a Seven Lakes resident, Baked with Love. I am drooling over the pictures on the side of me of these delicious cinnamon rolls and, oh, and I can the smell that bread from here. cookie. She, I had the privilege of interviewing Heather uh, about an hour and a half or so before the show. And Heather brings us goodies and we love her for them. And I had been, look at this. She dropped this off and it was in her hands. I could smell it the second she walked in. And I said, oh, is that fresh baked warm bread? She said, it is. Thank you. And I have not tried it. We wanted now. to keep it just so everybody can see how beautiful the look is. I did. Is. I didn't want to ruin the look of it. But I'm going to try some. She brought olive oil too. Really good. <laughs> that is super good. Mm. That's um, over here. I got a rib on the go. Wow. That's yummy. Barbecue Bill and James, you can try some of her bread. You can try the olive oil with it. She brought olive oil, and I'm going to try that later, Heather, um, when I'm not on camera, so that all of you watch me eat through my way through the show. But I interviewed Heather, and the best way you can learn about her is straight from her. So here's Heather. So I am here with Heather. Heather, your last name, pronounce it for me. Vaughn. Vaughn. Heather Vaughn. I see it spelled, but I didn't have a picture of you on camera. So. <laughs> but many of you know Heather because you have eaten many of her tasty treats. Heather is a Seven Lakes resident and a fabulous baker. And right now I'm smelling this fresh loaf of bread that just came out of the oven and I can't stop sniffing it and I want to eat it right now. <laughs> I know. Later. I'm going to save it for later. But, um, Heather, what brought you to Seven Lakes? My husband. My husband got a job working at Pinehurst Resorts. He is a doctoral superintendent by trade. Um, and he got offered a really wonderful position at the golf resort being in charge of all the equipment. So right. we left Oceanal Beach and, um, the beach residents in between Salty Red Edge, or that's where I'm from. Yeah. Um, and the one thing I requested was uh, a sense of community because we have that here and yeah. water. My children grew up on the water mm -hmm. and I wanted to continue that to see some sort of natural thing. Good. Well, we're glad you're here. Thank you. <laughs> so, what sparked your desire to bake? What, what made you? I love to bake. A lot of our viewers know I, I love to bake and. Um, Sometimes I'll share what I bake, but what made you, gave you that desire? It was a total accident. Um, COVID simply happened, and I had a skill set that I haven't used in a very long time. And um, there was a shortage of bread and cookies and just relatively everything mm -hmm. in the store. And um, I sought to fill a need for the lack of a better way of putting it. Um, and even when some of the items started to be restocked, we've got a lot of elderly and infirm in our area that really just don't need to be at the store. And um, so in addition to the Instacart and being able to have things delivered, 
it became just fun to be able to brighten people's day to visit some of the shut-ins people that just routinely don't have people in yeah. their lives to do door drops and get to say hello and have interaction so your faith just became a ministry it did in, the area. in, in more ways than you can imagine and um, it rapidly led to what we called the gift initiative in which people could pay it forward um, find people in their lives that had blessed them in one way or another or were just having a hard time and um, having a note uh, whether they wrote the note or somebody else to, to have something hand delivered to make them happy that's awesome <laughs> so we're going to be bringing some of your baked goods into the boutique <laughs> I'm so excited about this, not just for myself, but for the community. Um, I know deliveries from home aren't the easiest to maneuver yes. <laughs> around. Yes. So uh, we're really excited that we get to be a location for you. It'll be nice to have a spot outside of the gates that people who are not resident can come and pick things up and just get to see some of the new things like the, the paint your own cookie kits, um, get to interact with them, to ask your opinion of them, to, to get to actually see what they're doing before they arrive. Right. That's a neat idea. Great. We are very, very excited about this. So what kinds of things are you thinking, if you could share with the viewers, what kinds of things are you thinking to bring in um, that are ready available for um, not just order picked up by you, but um, just if they have a craving to come and pick up. I would love to have some dedicated days of the week to do certain things with y'all. Mm -hmm. um, a specific day of the week in which there's going to be hot, warm cinnamon rolls. So people coming by your establishment or, you know, even the people that are retired now, a place to come, look around, browse, chat with their friends, mm -hmm. grab a cup of coffee, and sit down and be able to eat something warm and fresh that hasn't been in the refrigerator, but you know is is ready made. Yes. Um, things like that: muffins, um, mandelbrot, or biscotti, shortbread cookies, mm -hmm. muffins. Um, and if anybody would like to pick things up here, that would be perfect for yes. the fresh, warm bread that you have in front of you right yes. now. Um, for cookies. Great. That's, we're very excited about this. We've got a little care package in front of us, and I'm really excited to play with these. These are um, little eggs that are going to be available. They come in the cutest little egg container and the little um, paint colors with a paintbrush and some instructions, and I'm so excited to play with this. You don't even know. I love to play and I love to paint and I can honestly say I've never painted a cookie before. Well, I am so excited <laughs> about this. Um, number one, uh, I like people to not only get to eat treats, but I want it to be somewhat healthy and nutritious. I don't load my stuff down with preservatives. There's not massive amounts of dangerous chemical based foods out there. Um, I buy a lot of my products overseas just to ensure there is no red dye number five for children with allergies. Um, being able to be completely peanut free or egg free based on people's requirements. So that's one of the reasons I'm so excited about the paint your own cookie kit and after you do them you have got to post this. I definitely will. I'll be posting and Heather, we're so excited to have you here and I know the community will be excited to have you here too. Awesome. <laughs> thank you. So, thank you Heather for coming down and doing that. Thank you <laughs> for the mm -hmm. bread. <laughs> I, I just, just want to interject, sorry, <laughs> multiple ribs. Um, yes. One of our top fans and Heather's is alicia hill ah, and she yeah. said on our comments she said heather vaughn is beyond the best baker her food is heavenly <laughs> she does everything and makes the most beautiful cakes her cookies her bread cinnamon rolls cupcakes are so good we love her to pieces her heart is so wonderful that is the truth that is the truth <laughs> and so and actually alicia your family did come up today in conversation yeah 
Yeah. If I remember correctly, your kids love her chocolate chip cookies, and I believe Ed has a weakness for her blueberry muffins. Um, mm -hmm. I can't remember what Alicia's favorite was. But Maybe it was Alicia and the blueberry muffins. She knows Ed. Okay. But she knows her clients. Yes. Um, so, and then my mom commented that she makes a wonderful black olive bread. Uh, she did send us pictures of the weekend, and it looked delicious. delicious. Uh, and then Michael Bell, who is the creator of the barbecue sauce, mm -hmm. said, uh, Steph and I, his wife, have been buying Heather's creations for the longest time and have loved everything. I particularly appreciate her baked goods made with love with the folks who have special dietary concerns in mind. So, yeah. It's kind of a cool little community we got going on here, and we love yeah. being part of it. And, yeah, so I just had to interject that. And I'm now glad you did. She's going to show you some baked goods. Thank you. Guys, keep up. Keep it up. Let us know if you've had any uh, anything from any of these makers. Let us know. And, oh, and um, a shout-out to uh, Mr. Bell's grandkids who are watching. Oh. <laughs> did you hear that? Say it again, James. Uh, shout-out to Mr. Bell's um, grandchildren who are watching. Yeah. Yeah. So, a shout out to the fam. I love it. So Heather is so sweet. She's so cute. She brought these little packages for James and I. This one is James with the cookies in it. This is James's. Look, baked with love by Heather. And this one is mine. And she thought I would be offended because she gave me the package that you can paint on cookies. She could have I picked a more appropriate love this. one. No, this is the best one for me. I love to paint and I love to play. So I never have painted on a cookie before and I'm super excited to do this So and eat it because we may have eaten the shamrock cookie before the show. <laughs> and now the bread. <laughs> and now the bread. While you were watching my interview with Heather, I had the bread with the olive oil. Mm. Heather, you are so right. It is amazing. Very, very good. Um, Bill and James are eating behind me, so I'm watching them eat through this show, and it's torture. So um, just very cool. I love the packaging. Heather's products, I'm so excited to be teamed with her as well, and so happy um, to have her items available here for you for your pickups for um her different deliveries that she's going to make throughout the week i'm just so excited to have, to be teamed up with her super sweet soul glad to be um make a team out of out of all of this so love it all right my next oh yeah i forgot one more slide just to show you all of her creations and make your mouth water just a little bit because some of you are probably watching this right after dinner and something sweet sounds really good. Mm hmm There you go. All right. I need to bring James in oh. for a moment because this is the segment of our show that we like to call Life Moments with Jim and James. Uh-oh. <laughs> Sorry, my ribs. Um, so, I wasn't aware there was a segment in Life Moments with James and Jen tonight. You didn't tell me about this, did you? No. And why didn't I tell you? Because last time you hit me with a car. I can't remember what I did this time. Well, so we were visiting with family for Christmas. Mm -hmm. And we were packing. And in the packing stage, we were privately packaging, packing away the gifts that we got for each other. I never should be going with this. So, James is very distraught. Mm -hmm. What could be troubling James? Oh. James has forgotten where he has hidden one of my gifts. First gift I bought for I can't remember. And is tearing the house apart, trying to find it. And I had a pretty good idea the room I hid it in and what side of the room <laughs> I hid it in. And it's the side of the room where my shoe rack is, I pulled out all my socks, I pulled out all my shoes, I looked at the How did you find it? Maybe three times. So he's so upset, he's like, do you just want me to tell you what it is? And I said, no. Not till Christmas Day. Let's wait. 
If you can't remember where you found it by Christmas Day, then you can let me know what it is. Mm -hmm. He couldn't figure it out, so I knew what my gift was, which he had actually gotten for me back in the fall. When you co-hosted And the I show. know the day that he got it mm -hmm. because I was co-host on Kathy Geiger's show on Monday night at 8 o'clock. From Indiana. In Indiana. The Sterling Silver by uh, Sterling Silver by Tasco. Corzone. Corzone. I always say Corzone. Oh, oh, that's right. Corzone Sterling Corzone. Silver by Tasco. And Corzone, as we learned, means heart, heart. in Spanish. Mm -hmm. Those of us that took high school Spanish knew that. Oh, I just learned <laughs> it from watching her show. <laughs> I did French. <laughs> Bonjour. Canadian. <laughs> French. So, um, fun fact, my uncle was my Spanish teacher. So, anyway, we digress. While I was hosting the show, Kathy was showing me what we were going to be presenting, and this beautiful piece was one of the things we were going to present, and I couldn't wait to put it on. And when I put this piece on, I was like, oh, I love it more. I love this piece. So what I didn't know was behind the scenes, while I was hosting, co-hosting the show, James was purchasing this for me and brought it back home and hid it so well, he forgot where it yep. was and happened to find it this weekend. Mm -hmm. What happened was Saturday, we were at the auto auction and a particularly ugly pickup truck that used to belong to Elvis Presley was going through. <laughs> and I had no interest in this particularly ugly pickup truck that used to belong to Elvis Presley. So my mind wandered to other things. And I thought, where did that necklace have? Right? <laughs> this is what I was thinking about the auction. And it occurred to me, it is on that side of the room and it is there. And so I kind of forgot about it because then a really pretty car went through. And so then the next morning, Sunday morning, I woke up and the thought hit me again. It's on that side. So I um, have some I watches. I thought it was with your socks, but it wasn't with your socks. No, it's in the same. I've got a big, long shoe thing with all my shoes in it. And on top is a, a couple of cases I collect some watches. And when you get your watch size, they give you all the little links or pins or whatever back in a little bag. And they're in the little drawer thing. Well, I slipped the necklace underneath those bags, and it was in a similar sort of bag. And I missed it every time. But I knew, and I just knew. So I got it, I found it, and then I woke her up by saying, hey, Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> so now I have my beautiful necklace. I love it, Kathy. Love it, love it, love it. Yes. All right. Carrying on with the show. And that's a better story than the one where you hit me with the car. I don't know. Well, that's a better story. Yes. <laughs> it's a better ending, for sure. James didn't get a head injury. So we digress. If you see something on the show that you really like and you want more information, message James. Let him know. If you see something on the show that you would like to purchase, let James know or private message us or email us uh, through the website um, the item that you would like and your contact information so that Linda and I can get in touch with you and uh, close out that purchase for you. If you're local, we um, have free in-store pickup, free curbside pickup, free more county delivery. And if you live from afar, we ship with additional shipping charges. We keep it as low as we can and get it to you as quick as we can. So moving on with more great local product. Like you to meet Dell Bennett. Dell is actually the first maker that I brought into the boutique. Back when the boutique was on the second floor of the tile store, of the tile building. Um, Del and his wife, so sweet, approached me about two months after opening and asked if I would be interested in, in selling um, or showing Del's furniture. And I had never, the thought had never occurred to me. So I said, sure, I'd like to see your pieces, see if you're a good fit for me, see if I'm a good fit for you. And um, the Bennett's were awesome. They brought their tables right away within an hour or 30 minutes. And I'm so glad that they've joined me. Um, his pieces are gorgeous. 
So Dell has 42 years of experience in designing and fabricating metal and wood. He um, makes everything out of local timber and he hand planes and hand sands all of his pieces. What makes his super special are the two layers, sometimes he does more, two layers of a high gloss epoxy on the top that makes this gorgeous glass finish. Beautiful, look at that shine. We see tables like these, similar to these, these live edge tables. But not nearly the quality. At market, the quality, not even close. Now, some of them are just plastic. They're not even real wood. No. This actually is from a tree that grew in his front yard in Seven Lakes. Mm -hmm. This tree grew in, in Seven, Seven Lakes. In Seven Lakes. Can't get more local than that, nope. right? Um, he also adds a layer of the Thompson Weather Seal on the bottom to protect them. So you can actually put these on your patio. I'd put it on a covered patio uh, so it's not hit with the elements directly, but um, beautiful, beautiful pieces. I have in the showroom right now his Live Edge Cedar Table for $499. Just stunning. Look at the close-up of this. One, it's hard to photograph because the that epoxy finish is just I beautiful, gorgeous. Um, he does this in his garage and just stunning finish. Um, you can see the beautiful wood graining, gorgeous table. We also have the Live Edge Pine Table that James just lifted up for you for $275. It is a lower table, more of an accent table. And just look at that up close wood grain. It's gorgeous for $275. Beautiful, beautiful. Dell does an amazing job on these tables. Gorgeous. So the next we've introduced a couple of times as well, and that's Randy Plowman. Randy is actually a former employee of Baron Tile. Um, Randy used to be an installer with James. And James, would you like to add anything about Randy? Randy's just an all-around great guy. What else can you say? He's an all-around great guy. What else can you say? There He's you a police go. officer. He's, um, He's a good hard worker. He's got an awesome family mm -hmm. and um, great kids, and he's an outdoorsy kind of guy. Um, he would have done well living 200 years ago. Mm -hmm. He does well living today. So <laughs> he's he's pretty good. I was say, he's, he's probably happy he's living and breathing now, James. <laughs> yeah, that's probably. Uh, he's, he's awesome. And uh, he is uh, working on some wood projects for us. Mm -hmm. We've got some here in the showroom, and we've got more coming. And he's just done a fantastic job, and I'm really impressed with the the, the, the skills and the quality of the, the materials that he's uh, producing. So, yeah. So we've shared with you Randy's charcuterie boards that we have, and um, he hand draws the shape of them. He um, hand finishes them in a food grade product, uh, in food grade products, and they're absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. They're so so soft. Look at that, the way the light um, reflects off of that. Yeah. They, I mean, they are like. It's a matte finish, so it's not a gloss finish. It's like buttercream. Yeah, it's, nice. it's so soft. Yeah. Um, each are sixty nine ninety nine. Beautiful pieces, and you could see from when James was holding that up how large they are. Oftentimes, the boards tend to be on the smaller to medium size, and sometimes it's difficult to fit a larger um, serving onto that. Um, we like to do charcuterie with lots of different things, um, different cheeses, different crackers, different um, lots grapes. of different meats, grapes, and usually it's heaping and overflowing. We have a gorgeous board as well made by uh, my brother-in-law, Mark. So we love ours and um, it's perfect for two, but these are great for two and plus. So beautiful, beautiful pieces by Randy. The next maker that I'd like to introduce you to are Eric and Jenny. This is the sweetest couple and they have the cutest kids. Um, James and I just hit it off with, with these two um, right off when we went to visit them at their home and um, their garage. They, they actually work out of their garage. Their company is Generics Woodworking. Did they get it? Jen and Eric? generics. 
Um, this is their garage. They uh, operate out of their garage, which I love. And um, Eric is an active is active duty military. Eric actually returned home today. I was texting with Jenny yesterday, and he's coming home today. So thank yay! you for your service. Sir. Thank you so much, Eric, for your service. And I know Jenny is over the moon, and the kids are over the moon to have him back home. So so glad that. Um, that he's able to return home. He's been gone for a while, so I'm I'm very excited for them. Um, I had asked Jenny if she could shoot some pictures for me and uh, say a few things, but she's occupied with Eric as she should be. So um, so excited that they're together again. So these are American flags that they build in their garage. Um, they make them to order so they don't have any pre-made um, pieces when you order they make So Eric does all of the cutting of the wood and runs the CNC machine. Jenny does all of the painting and staining um, They also torch the wood to give it an aged look Each of their flags is made out of 14 pieces of wood um, They do personalization on their flags as well and um, they, after they cut their pieces and stain them, they then uh, glue them all together and um, they uh, attach, I'm gonna hold one of these up for you so you can see the back. I'll show you the pretty front in just a second. But on the back, they have three strips on the back to give it support. And they also have D-rings on the back um, for hanging. Super pretty, pretty pieces. Um, they can be hung outside, but they do recommend that you use a polyacrylic protective finish on that. This, thank you, James. This is their, um, their rustic flag. All of their flags are available in three sizes large which is a 26 by 48 medium which is a 19.5 by 36 and a small that's 13 by um 25. really really and just for reference i'm holding the medium that's the medium this is the medium so they're a good size they are um and they are beautiful they are really really pretty this is the medium rustic flag and it is $120. And James, if you can bring that a little closer to the camera so you can see um, they've torched the, the pieces so you get that really pretty veining or you see the wood grain when um, Jenny applies the stain to them. So because each board is hand cut and um, they're glued together, you're gonna see a little variation in um, in the height of each board, you're gonna see um, a little bit of separation in some of the boards just because of warping, but that's the beauty of them. They're natural and they really are roasted. We've seen them. some where it's just a basically a piece of plywood and then they try to stamp other boards on it so it looks like it's made this way, but not these the truly same. are made that way. Not the same. Yep, not the same at all. The other that I have in the showroom is the 1776 flag. Um, Again, this is a medium. This is also the medium for $150. It also has the um, the supports in the back and the, the rings in the back. Mm -hmm. You can see how that torching just and the stain. Um, it really she does just uses a natural, effect. yeah, really, really pretty. Very cool. The yeah. blues and the reds in this so vibrant gorgeous again picture better for the color than the my screen on the computer beautiful flags um we gifted one actually for christmas we, we gifted did. one of the smaller flags to um, my stepdad don and he loves his so i'm i'm happy that they have one in their home we also gifted one to some friends of ours, uh, the friends that were here this weekend. Um, we had this one custom done. If you look close on your screen, it says Rock Solid Motorsports. We had Jenny and Eric um, 
CNC that. We gave them a font that we liked and uh, thought was fitting for Angie and Justin, and uh, they made this flag for them. This was their lar. This was the large flag. Um, so they do do custom. Yeah, I said do do. They they do <laughs> custom, uh, and uh, really really pretty. And if you're uh, interested in some of the other sizes, let us know. We can order them for you. And if you want them customized, there's just a, an additional $20 charge to have them customized. And uh, they'll do anything you want. So. And I know we're getting closer to the end of the show, but there's still time to share mm -hmm. and get your name in tonight's drawing. Yes, keep sharing. I'm going to scroll up in my notes here. Um, keep sharing and let James know that you're watching and keep chit chatting with him. If you see something you really like, let him know um, or let everybody else that's watching know. If you've tried one of the products or have one on, at your own home, let, let people know. So our next maker, uh, actually let's nature make a lot of his product. And this is Gary Koontz. Gary and I met when he was building his home. His home is actually an award-winning home built by a local builder, Kenny Puckett. And um, both who we love, love Gary, love Kenny. And it, his home is gorgeous. Gary purchased all of his tile from us and that's how we met. And um, home is stunning. His grounds are to die for. He, um, the name of his farm is Magnolia Lane Farms, and um, he raises honeybees. He has a, a honey that Bernie's Hardware sells, um, Tootie Bear, Tootie Bear honey. And um, now's the time of year. I saw some pollen on some things. Now's the time of year to buy up some honey for those of us who are allergy sufferers. They say that local honey is good for um, helping with allergies. So I'm looking forward to picking up mine and um, hoping that that helps take care of a few of my allergy issues. There are many. Um, he rescues animals, but in the shop just today, Gary dropped off, where is it? My province lavender. Or your province lavender sachet. So Gary has put together, Gary and his wife put together these lavender sachets. They grow lavender on the farm, fresh cut, and um, they have them in these beautiful little sachets that you can uh, toss under your pillow case if you'd like. Um, as you roll and turn on your pillow, it releases the aroma. Um, when he dropped these off to us, oh my gosh, they smell so good. But uh, lavender can reduce stress. Um, there's a few things that lavender can do for you. You can just toss it in a drawer if you'd like um, for the things in the drawer to have a, a nice fragrance when you're, with your clothing. You can um, just set it in a room and it really, you can smell it. There's some um, nice little bowls that you can put one in and put it in just in the powder room so there's right. always a nice little um, sachet of lavender yeah. scent in the room nice calming scent i like the smell of it actually it's not sometimes i think some of the boo paris are a little too flowery and kind of too feminine this, this is, is different than really nice. yeah this is a natural fragrance it's natural from the lavender uh, yeah, plant I, so i prefer this definitely this is the first time I've, I've ever really known about the product is like yeah. being in today and uh, I was kind of curious, and, and I really do like the smell of it. Yeah, so um, great little sachet. Um, if they start to lose their fragrance, you just give them a little squeeze, and um, it releases more of the fragrance. And Gary taught me another tip today. He told me, because I asked him, how long do these last? He said, quite a while. But um, he was chatting with his wife, and they were doing some research, and learned that after you've given it your squeezes, and it's really not as fragrant as it once was, you can pop it into the refrigerator for a day or two so that it regains some of its moisture and then give it another squeeze and you can set it back out again and it kind of refreshes and rejuvenates the sachet. So they actually last for quite some time. Um, we have it on the computer at $7.50. We're actually selling this at $6.99. 
um, $6.99 for the sachet in the boutique. So these I don't think will last long. Um, as soon as we're sold out, we will replenish through Gary, and we're so excited to have these. I, uh, I don't know if you know, I'm just chatting with Heather here, and she oh, said, yeah? food grade by chance. I bake with lavender. Oh. And so the first thing that intrigues me is I don't know that I've ever eaten anything with lavender in it, so I'm interested to try that. And I will ask Gary, and I'll get back to you. We'll get back to you. We'll ask Gary. I know Tracy, I don't know if Tracy's watching, but I believe she drinks a lavender adult beverage. And Heather, the, the comment there from Patricia Boy, yes. wanting to know what you put the lavender in. Patricia is my mother. Yes. So, so Heather, uh, my mother-in-law, would like to know what would you put lavender in? Because I guarantee you, my mom's going to try it tomorrow. She, <laughs> she loves to bake as well. Yes, she does. And she is also a wonderful baker. That's one of my favorite things to do with her is um, when we get to visit, which has been over a year now because of COVID, I love to spend my, my visit in the kitchen with her. So and Heather says it's that. lavender blueberry cake. Ooh, lavender blueberry cake. Yeah. So, all Sounds right. Sounds delicious. It does sound really good. Moving on to our last maker of the show, I've um, shared with you previously Amy Smith from Amy Smith Art. Amy, um, I've shared before, is a contemporary abstract mixed media artist. Uh, she uses acrylic, stamps, charcoal, collage papers. Um, her pieces are beautiful. I actually had Amy here at the boutique uh, a couple of weeks ago, and Amy was here doing a live paint. Uh, she was here from one to four and started a piece that we got to watch from start to not quite finished because she felt like it still needed a little something more. But um, it was so wonderful to have Amy here. We had visitors watching her, um, seeing the different stages of her work, and that was just so much fun. So much fun, in fact, that Amy and I decided, let's do this again. So you are the first to know that Amy will be here on the 12th of March to do another live paint. It's really cool watching her process. She doesn't know what she's going to do when she starts. I just wanted to pop in and say that I was able to pop into the showroom three times that day. Yes. And everybody was loving watching her paint. Yes. The interaction was awesome because people would stand and just watch and watch and watch. And, and, um, and it was just really cool. And she really enjoys explaining her process. Yes. She really enjoys, you know, kind of showing the techniques and that th sort of thing. And it was just a, a really fun experience for a lot of people that were here. So, yeah. So, um, yeah, that was a great event. So Amy is a sweet soul. I've known Amy for a while. Um, I actually taught her son when he was in kindergarten. He's married now. I feel old. Um, I had her son in my art class, and that was that was special. So we, our our paths have crossed again, and I'm so glad to have Amy back in my life and um really enjoyed sitting with her last week and chatting with her and um she was good for my soul and i'm i'm glad to have her here and so glad to have her back on the 12th we have another event that we're planning more details to come from that but amy teaches classes as well um and she of course sells her work um, Amy also has a jewelry line, so it's wearable art, and um, she has some really pretty pieces. She had them sitting out the day I was visiting her last week, um, photographing some of her pieces to get them up on her website, but uh, we had chatted a bit about bringing some of her earrings in here, and that will be coming up the road. Uh, for now, I've brought a few more um, fresh pieces of Amy's. And the first is actually a pair. Um, it's a yellow and gray piece, yellow and gray one and two. They're $2.75 each. Beautiful, beautiful pieces. Um, she, you can see her process is always to start with um, scribbles on the canvas to eliminate the blank canvas. 
Um, many people sit and stare at a canvas or stare at a piece of paper when they're trying to create a piece of art and they're not sure what to do. So Annie's way of breaking that barrier of creator block um, is to scribble on the canvas. That's how she starts. Sometimes you can see the scribbles in the end. Sometimes they end up completely covered in paint. In this case, you can see the scribbles through and I love these pieces. They're so, so pretty as a pair or um, individually in a room. The next piece that I'm sharing with you of Amy's. People yeah. that are jumping on here talking about what their favorites are that Heather makes. <laughs> I know I'm sitting over here eating, but I'm still hungry now. Yeah, I love that everybody's sharing their favorites of Heather's stuff. That's great. And apparently a uh, lavender basil martini is a favorite. It did, was that Tracy? Uh, no, that's Jacqueline. Oh, Jacqueline. She said lavender lemon cookies and lavender basil martinis Ooh. are my two favorites, fresh from my garden. I'm, yeah. I'm getting all kinds of great ideas here. With the lavender. I yeah. love it. Yeah. So, um, all right. This next piece from Amy is language and structure. It's 375. It's a great, a good size piece. I actually posted it, um, I think over the weekend on Saturday on Instagram and Facebook. So scroll back so you can get scale, um, as far as the size of this piece. But it's 375. This is a little bit of the up close detail. You can see some of the um, you can see some of the scribbles showing through that Amy had started with. You can see some of the stamped um, collage papers. You can see some um, of the other different layered on collage papers that she's added on. That's something of Amy's work. You must see it in person, and that's what makes watching her so cool because you can see how each layer just completely changes as she's as she's going. I really, really like this piece. So interesting, so much detail and depth to it. And happy color as well. The last pieces that I wanna share with you are her resin pieces. Now I've got two of those right in front of me because of the size, I'm able to hold them up a little closer to the camera for you to see. Look at that super glossy glass resin finish. Annie does a beautiful job on the resin. You can see the depth of her pieces. A lot of time and effort went into this. She paints all of her edges. Um, she has so the that, coolest easel for painting on, that was it? Yeah, she does. She has a great easel for painting on. She has wire backing on all of her pieces for hanging or if you want to set it on a table. This is the close-up detail of these two resin pieces. Um, I know it's hard for me to show because of the reflection with all the lights going on in the room right now, but uh, I did my best to photograph some of that up close detail for you. Again, $72 each. A lot of work went into these. They're so gorgeous, so interesting. I actually had a client in, um, uh, Sharon was in, and she said, do you know Somebody you need to meet. You need to meet Amy Smith. It's like, oh, I have some of her stuff here. I know Amy. So she was so excited to hear that um, I knew of her and that I had some of her pieces here. So I love that. I love when people suggest other people that I should know. And um, I love that people get excited about the people that we have here already. So we've gone a little over. We need to wrap up the show. James, if you want to yes. roll right in here. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and on Facebook. Share tonight's you say show. Roll right in here because I've been eating the whole show. Maybe. Uh -huh. I'm jealous. I kept some James ribs. and Bill eating in front of me. A little bit of bread left. There's some olive so oil. Hungry. And now we get into the baked goods. Yes. We're pretty excited. So thank you all for tuning in to see our yeah. local makers. Um, if you're Please. not local and you want some of these products, let us know. We can ship them to you. Yep. And uh, let's get on with tonight's drawing. So our winner receives a $25 gift certificate on anything in the store. And get you some barbecue sauce. Yeah. Maybe a cake. Of things. Listen. And tonight's winner is Chris Johnson. Congratulations. Congratulations, Chris. I'm so glad you're watching tonight. So, so glad you're watching. I just love Chris. Super sweet. 
So, all right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, we really appreciate you. We appreciate all that you do for the boutique because when you support local, um, you're not just supporting us here. You're providing something different for the community um, because without you, we can't be here. Uh, and you're also supporting other local makers in the area. As you can see tonight, we've got quite a few. I know there's so many more. If you're a maker or you know of another maker that you think would be a good pairing for them and for us, let us know. Good night, everybody. Have a great night. See you night. next week.